What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get a 4G LTE boost on your AT&T iPhone 5 iPad or the T-Mobile iPhone 5. So this only works on AT&T and T-Mobile obviously and what we're going to be doing is updating to a carrier update. So right now we're going to be showing you the before test, showing you what my speeds are before the carrier update and whatnot. So your iPhone or iPad does not need to be jailbroken at all. It could either be, you know, straight out of the box or you can even have it jailbroken like my iPhone is which is on iOS 6.1.2. Also in the video description will be the files to download if you're AT&T or T-Mobile, as well as the commands you need to put before updating to these new carrier settings. So on Windows, you got to make sure you're running on 64-bit or 32-bit, and for Mac, you don't really need to do anything. You just have to put in the command. So that's it for our first test. We're going to try another test. We're going to do a series of two tests, before and after. Alright, so like I said, your iDevices don't need to be jailbroken at all. So there's nothing else complicated that you need to do. Just have iTunes up and make sure your iDevice is connected to your computer. Alright, so now we got our results. We're gonna take a note of that and then we're gonna go ahead and switch to our computer where we're gonna update to the new settings. So let's do that right now. All right, now that we're in our computer, you went ahead and put up terminal, or if you're on Windows, like I said, you're gonna have to put up command prompt. Now, if you're on Mac, you wanna paste in this command, but if you're on Windows, I will have the command in the video description. Once you have that entered, you wanna go back into iTunes, and from here, you wanna back up your phone just in case. So once you're here, you wanna go ahead and up select the update. So what you're gonna do is hold down Option on your Mac or Shift on your Windows and left click. So we're gonna head and look for the AT&T US iPhone 14.1 IPCC. So once you have this select, you wanna tap on Open. And from there, you wanna go ahead and tap on Sync and you should be good to go. So now let's look at the after results. All right, so let's begin our after test. Let's begin. Alright, let's see what we get. So straight off the bat, I'm kind of seeing a 4 to 3 megabits per second boost. But usually the first test is like the uh, not so accurate, but we'll try to see on our second test. So let's see our upload speeds. We kind of get about 1 megabit boost. All right, so let's try it on our second test. Ooh, find your love, click here. I'll do that later. All right, so as you can see, we're getting a much better boost compared to our before test, which we'll see later on. So we're getting 16.96 megabits per second. And our upload speeds, let's see. Alright, we're somewhere getting between 4 and 5. Can we get 5? Nope, alright, so we got a 4.90 megabits per second upload speed. Now let's look at before test. Now if we look at the first before test, we got 7.59 megabits uh, per second download speed compared to our last after speed, which was 16.96. So you kind of get there of a uh, two times better results. And almost four times better results for the upload speed so this carrier update did pretty much um, increase the 4G LTE boost and that's pretty much it guys if you guys seen the same results comment and tell me what you guys uh, have pulled in but if you guys like this video please click the like button if you have any more questions please comment and if you want to see more videos like these please subscribe thanks